Alright, continuing in our Elder Dragon Highlander Most Hated General series, uh, we're going to be covering today Rephelos. We Tell have us about Rephelos, Lanamor Emissary, and he is a very unassuming little elf general. However, his effect is very deadly. You can tap him and add one green mana to your mana pool for each forest you control. So it sounds like this guy would be best with basic lands. Uh, what do you got on land count here? Um, mostly forests. We run about 35 forests in this deck. Otherwise, we've got a Wirewood Lodge and a Thawing Glaciers to help us out. Okay, it looks like the Wirewood Lodge will untap a target elf, so that could make Rafellos uh, produce double the mana. It's pretty interesting. What are you going to do with all that extra mana that you're producing? Basically, get big or go home. Let's look at some of the creatures. These are utility creatures here. You've got Artifact Destruction, Card Draw, Untap, Destroy an Artifact or Enchantment. Got some Utility Search guys. Looks like a little bit of Forest Ramp. That guy searches for six cost creatures. <laughs> that guy's going to be bringing creatures out of the grave. Again, artifact or enchantment destruction. Graveyard recursion to your hand. Cycling and forest ramp. A little bit of card draw with persistence. Search for land. And search for land. You covered some of the small and utility creatures. Uh, take us through some of the big drops. Alright, these are the big boys. Alright, looks like you're running a lot more big drops than you do in like other decks. I think in some of the blue decks we covered, there are only two or three like very large creatures. That guy's cool because with a lot of mana, he uh, provides you with an overrun. Untap all forests and green creatures. Can be strong. Token generation. Guy's yeah, big and draws you a card for all the green creatures you control. More tokens. Uh, new Ant Queen. Destroy a permanent. Man, what a great EDH card. He persists and come back and destroys two things. Some more grow, more ramp up. I notice a lot of these guys have trample and are huge. Looks like you're never going to be short on forest cards with these mana ramp abilities. Yes, we can search for forests and bring them right into play. Searching basic land. Haro's a cool card. Get you two lands. More land. Yes, and you're constantly searching for forests with this deck. So not only are you thinning your deck, but you're also increasing the chances you're going to hit some of those big guys. Here's somebody that looks like they produce double the mana. If you and tap a permanent for mana, it produces twice as much. Okay, so even when Rafellos taps, it'll exactly. do Exactly. It. Nice. All right, looks like you can pull a lot of land. Take us through some of the utility spells in the deck. All right, we've got Graveyard Recursion. All right, I love Restock. That's a good one. And these are going to start adding in some tokens. A giant worm token that you can make with buyback. <laughs> cool. This looks like some card draw. Yes, lots of good card draw with this deck. Card draw can be tricky in green, so it looks like this deck really capitalizes on the best draw. Oh, that's a really good one with your big guys. If you sack them, draws a card. Crosin Grip. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Alright, so we got some removal. That destroys any card in play. That's pretty awesome. Artifact and enchantment removal. And these search for some of your big dudes. Lurking uh, Predators. Let's one of my stop favorites. on Lurking Predators for a second. This one just came out in M10. Tell us a little bit about what this does. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature, you get to put it right onto the battlefield and play. Awesome. Otherwise, you, can't, you may put it on the bottom. So this works really well in multiplayer because think about a five-man game. Your opponents are constantly playing spells. Yeah, and I guess every time they play spells, you might have a chance of dropping out some of those nine drops. All right, we got search. More search. It's like... Lots of things to grab creatures in green. More search and maybe even a little healing. Cool. 
You can tell that the theme of this deck is really focused on producing mana, abusing mana. Uh, take us through some of the artifacts that do that. You got extra planar lens making everything tap for a couple. Gauntlet of power. Choose green. Choosing green. A little protection from the mean blue and red decks protection out there. Protection from a zombie. Nice. Lightning Greaves, one of my favorites. So you can put that right on Rafelos and use him as he comes in. And a big search, huh? How does this deck close the deal? Well, we have a number of win conditions here. Root Awakening lets you untap all your lands and turn them into 2 2 creatures. Nice, so also all those searches entwined. become deadly. Hurricane, X damage to each player and each creature with flying. So you ramp up your mana and shoot everybody for 40. <laughs> Garuk Wildspeaker. Okay, he can give all your creatures trample. Cool. And Overrun gives everybody plus three, plus three, and trample. Alright, so if you built up a big board, you can trample over everybody and, and uh, attack for the win. Now here is one of the most hated combos in the game, Rafellos with Staff of Domination. The first time that I saw this, like I thought it was pretty ridiculous. Basically, Rafellos taps for a bunch of extra green mana in the deck, and uh, Staff of Domination can use all the mana that he just tapped for to untap him, and then start doing all kinds of dirty things, like gaining an infinite amount of life, uh, untapping uh, the creatures over and over again, um, tapping target creatures down so they wouldn't have any blockers, and basically drawing your cards. So you can create a, a infinite amount of mana, play an infinite amount of guys, um, give some of them haste, and basically uh, overrun them with some of the overrun payment powers and finish the game in any number of ways. Uh, that's pretty cool, um, but this definitely puts Rafelos uh, on the hit list for one of the most hated EDH generals.